So many new kits. So many new models. New Eldar. I shouldn't have made this pledge. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Liam. I'm one half of DeploymentZone.tv. Um, and you can hit the link below to DZTV if you want to come and join us in the Deployment Zone. Come be part of our amazing community. And there's loads and loads and loads of extra video content, etc. in there. We've had loads of sign-ups lately. People seem to be really enjoying it. I think that's partly because of the hobby apocalypse. And the hobby apocalypse I'll go on to in a little moment, but that's part of the reason for this video. So I'm making a pledge this year. I don't typically do these kinds of things because... In the past, often when I've made promises or said I'm going to do something, they often haven't happened. Um, obviously, this is a little bit different because of you wonderful people. I'm now full time with the channel, uh, and a big shout out to everyone who's a DeploymentZone.tv subscriber or a member. And you can hit the link below to become a member if you want to be part of the channel as well. It's because of you people that I can do this now. So I want to make a pledge this year, right? Um, and it goes hand in hand with a few different things. So first of all, going full time means I don't have as much money anymore. So this pledge makes sense, but also, because the hobby apocalypse is running, and because of my last couple of years and the way in which I've conducted myself, I guess, in the hobby, um, this kind of made sense. This is kind of something I wanted to do. So, I am making a quick pledge for 2022, and I would encourage people to join me. There's a reason why I'd encourage people to join me. Whether you do or not is obviously entirely up to you. Let me know in the comments below if you are, in fact, going to join this pledge. But the pledge is very simple. I am not going to purchase, for me, for an army, a model kit in 2022, unless I meet certain conditions. Those conditions are very, very simple. I need to have completed two 2,000-point armies for the tabletop, fully painted, to play with, 40k-wise, not Age of Sigma or Blood Bowl, but 40k-wise, two fully painted armies on the tabletop before I'm going to allow myself to buy any new model kits. Now, those of you that know me and know the channel know I'm a massive Eldar fan, and that's why I cursed them at the start of this video, because they've recently released all these new trailers and videos about all the incredible new Eldar models, right? The new Guardians, there's a new Avatar of Kane that we've seen some sort of tips and uh, some, some snippets and some teasers of in that video. Um, they've obviously people think they've seen Mugen Ra as a teaser in that same video. We've seen the new Rangers, we've seen the new Shroud Runners, we've seen the new Autark. As a massive Eldar fan, this is a terrible time for me to be saying I'm not going to buy any more model kits. But it's going to test my resolve at least, right? Because if I can avoid buying those kits, then I'm happy. That means I'm winning, surely. So why am I doing this? There's a couple of reasons why I'm doing this. Um, firstly, over the course of the last two or three years since doing the channel, running the channel, being part of deploymentzone.tv, I have bought tons and tons and tons of model kits. Um, we've been uh, Our sponsors at Element Games have been amazing at sending us three model kits. Games Workshop have sent me three model kits, which means I have tons of armies here in my office, in the studio, that aren't finished, that aren't built, that aren't completed. And I've jumped from project to project. I've always been terrible at this. I've, I've hold my hand up. This is my confession. Hear my confession. I've always been terrible at jumping from project to project to project. But I'm going to try and stop that. I'm going to try and buck that trend. And I'm going to try and come out of that habit. I'm going to try and take inspiration from my dearest friend and business partner, Winters, who doesn't typically do this. And I'm going to try and become more focused because I'm now producing this for you guys full time. It kind of makes sense. So, I will not buy any models for myself until two are completed because I've got, so the first reason is because I've got loads of kits currently at home. I've, I worked out I've probably got four to five, at least four to five, un incomplete, unpainted 40k armies that, should I focus on them with what I have here in the house, could be 2,000 points. Five, that's a lot. There may be even more, but at least five, that's a lot. So, that's the first reason why I'm going to do this. The second reason is because the hobby apocalypse has just started in deploymentzone.tv. Now, um, it's not too late to join. We're on the 5th of January, which means you've missed five days, but it's not too late to join in the hobby apocalypse. The hobby apocalypse, you may or may not have heard of it. They ran it last year. Four guys in deploymentzone.tv put together a series for me and Winters and said, look, can we put this on DZTV and encourage the community to join along? And we heard the concept, looked at the idea and went, that sounds phenomenal. Yes, please. We'll happily have that in DZTV. 
It was a roaring success of doing it again this year. So what the hobby apocalypse is, is a commitment to paint a certain number of points every month for six months. That number is 250 points of your chosen faction. And you can pick whichever faction you want. You could do AOS if you wanted to. But every month, January, February, March, April, May, June, you paint 250 points of that chosen faction and you submit it for review, and they can give you a loyalty stamp and all that kind of stuff. And at the end of six months, you've got 1,500 points of a painted army. I haven't done 1,500 points in a, of a painted army for three-plus years, since probably I finished the Sim Han Eldar, actually, so a long time ago. So that's a great way to start with for me to get through some of the kits. So I've picked a Gravis Space Marine army, lower model count, simpler, easier to paint, to get me in the groove, to get me started, to get me painting these. And I'd encourage people that maybe haven't had that groove for a while to pick something similar, something you love, something you're passionate about, not super complicated, don't go mad on highlights, don't go mental on blending, but something that um, is going to be relatively rewarding relatively quickly. And I've almost finished five heavy intercessors. We're on the fifth of the month, right? So it's actually working, touch wood, touching all the wood. It's actually working right now. So that's, num- that's reason number two, because I can be involved in the hobby apocalypse. And by the, the sixth month, I should have at least 1,500 points painted. And what the guys in hobby apocalypse don't know is my intent is that by month six, I actually have 2,000 points painted. So I've got a 2,000 point army, army one done. First half of the year, army one done. Army 2 is the second half of the year. Now, Army 2, I let you guys vote on, actually, on the community page on YouTube. So I'm going to start putting more polls and posts up on the... I'm going to try to put more polls and posts up on the community page. I let you guys vote, and you picked Astra Militarum, specifically Death Corps of Krieg, which I've got almost all of the army, I guess, built and painted. Not painted, that's a lie, otherwise I wouldn't be doing this. Built up on that shelf over there, right? I've got a number of... I've got like five Lehman Russ, Mars pattern Lehman Russes, a couple of Basilisks, etc. So it makes sense to focus on those. I've also got a few of the plastic Krieg kits because when they came out, I loved them and I've been scouring eBay for reasonably priced ones that I've been picking them up last year. And then they've sat on the shelf and done nothing despite them being gorgeous kits. So that's another reason um, for me to do two armies because... I've got armies like that that I need to get done. You guys voted for Death Corps of Krieg. That's what we're doing. Some people have asked, what about the Necrons? Well, you see, Winters is doing Necrons for Hobby Apocalypse, so it made sense for me right now to pause Necrons. I love Necrons, but he's doing them for Hobby Apocalypse, and me and him make one beautiful team at DZTV, so I'm not going to touch Necrons for now, because he's doing that. And it gets me my... Um, custom chapter and my Death Corps of Krieg army is up and running in 2022. Not to forget, of course, that I'm sending the Space Wolves to Den of Imagination and they'll be painting Space Wolves at some point in the first half of 2022. So I'll have a Space Wolf army, I'll have a custom Space Marine chapter, and I'll have the Krieg, three Imperial, some zero to three Imperial armies in 2022 is the goal. With one, with one other painting studio painting the others. Now, Siege Studios have also got in touch about potentially doing a Grey Knight commission for me, which I'm all up for. Those details aren't finalised, but there's a potential that Siege will be doing something for me as well. It could be four armies, but I'm not going to not gonna get too excited just in case that doesn't happen for whatever reason. So that's reason number two, right? Hobby Apocalypse is happening. That gives me six months to paint an army and another six months to paint another army. So at the end of 2022, we should have two fully painted armies without having to buy any model kits. So I'm allowed to buy paints, by the way. That's fine. I can buy paints and paintbrushes, clearly. Otherwise, I could be in trouble. But I'm not allowed to buy models. Now, this doesn't include the models that Games Workshop send through to me. They'll still send me kits to review, and I'll still review those kits for you people. They'll still send me codexes to review, and I'm going to review codexes, but I'm probably going to put the codex reviews on DZTV because Winters does his codex reviews on YouTube. And like I said, we're that perfect partnership, right? So that's probably what's going to happen with those. Hoping to film the first couple this Friday, and you'll know what they are if you're watching this when it released. You'll know what those two codexes are that we're going to be reviewing. I Clearly, I'm not allowed to say it, but you'll know what they are. And rule number, or reason number three, now this is a controversial reason, okay, so I'm aware this might upset people, this is a controversial reason, but if everybody committed to doing this, if everybody committed to not buying kits for the whole year, because most of you have probably got plenty of kits, it might, it might send a message to Games Workshop about their current release schedule, the way they're doing supplements, the way they're releasing kits, etc., And that we don't like Warzone Charadons, and we don't like Eldritch Omens box sets. We don't like box sets coming out before codexes are dropped. And we don't like supplements specifically coming out before codexes are dropped. Now this is a... I could be pissing in the wind here. This might be a complete... Liam, you're an idiot. That's never going to work. It's never going to happen. They're not even going to notice. They might not notice. But I'll feel better that I'm not rewarding the behaviour by buying loads of kits, because I've already got loads here, is what I'm hoping. 
if we can get so many people in the community behind this, if we can get so many people not buying model kits all over the place, I say all over the place, just buying for the sake of buying or, or buying because the new release is happening, then maybe, just maybe, they'll start to learn. It sucks, right? Because the Eldar release is happening and the Eldar models are glorious and I want to reward them for releasing new Eldar models because it's been so long. But I don't want to release them for releasing... I don't want to reward them, sorry, for releasing a supplement before they release a codex. So I'm really torn there, but I'm kind of hoping that potentially we might send a little message that says, come on, behave yourselves. Let's start looking after your loyal customers who have been with you for years and who have bought loads of kits because they're clearly getting a little bit pissed off. There's another byproduct as well. Um, Mikey from Hellstorm did a video on um, plastic and the environment, um, which was an interesting video, and I think I even shared it. You know, that there is that byproduct that you you have not got, if you're not buying extra kits and you're using what you have, you're not, you know, generating more plastic. And I don't know if that's actually going to make a monumental difference in, for this particular initiative, but maybe it does make a bit of a difference. It at least makes me feel a little bit better about myself, right? So... So there's my pledge. That's that's what I'm doing. That's my 2022. No new model kits purchased for myself for 40k or for Age of Sigma for that matter because I've got two Age of Sigma armies unbuilt as well. That's how bad it is, people. That's how bad it is. No new model kits purchased for myself. 2022, I'm only going to build and paint what I currently have in my house until I have two armies completed. Now, clearly, not everybody out there will be able to commit to completing two armies before they buy model kits. But I, I urge you to join this pledge. I urge you to join in on this journey. And I urge you to, cho to choose not to buy anything new, but to build and paint what you have. Tell me what you're going to do below. Let me know if you're joining the pledge and what your goal is before you'll allow yourself to buy any more kits. Perhaps we'll do some check-ins. Maybe in six months I'll do a check-in and go, did you guys manage it? Have you bought new kits? I did. And I'm hoping that's not the case. Clearly, I'm hoping I didn't. But um, let me know if you're joining the pledge. Uh, if you love these, if you love this content, think about hitting subscribe. Um, YouTube tells me like forty or fifty percent of people that watch these pre-recorded videos aren't subscribers. It'd be amazing if you could hit that subscribe button. I'm going to try and slowly jump all the channels throughout 2022 as well. Probably impossible again, but I like setting impossible goals. Clearly, if you look at that pledge, um, so think about hitting subscribe. Obviously, you want to hit that little bell if you want to be notified every time I launch a video. Um, otherwise, you can support the channel in a number of different ways. Firstly, you can become a member of DeploymentZone.tv. Loads of extra content, a Discord community server etc etc that's incredible so thank you to everybody who's deploymentzone.tv members or you can choose to become a member of the channel um, there's a link below or you can hit the join button if you're watching on a website uh, and that supports me directly dz supports me and winters um, winters also has memberships as well so think about heading on over to winters and becoming a member if you've already got the other two and you want to complete the set right otherwise if you do enjoy sit and talk content we do do live streams at 9 30 every tuesday and every friday on YouTube, they're just launched at 9.30 and you can come and join us, hang out in the chat, talk to me, etc. Or we do live battle reports every single Wednesday. And today, if you watch this in time, if I get this up in time, then today we're playing live on YouTube against Winters SEO. And next Wednesday we're playing against Winters again, but on his channel. Make sure you come and check out those videos, those live streams. Come and hang out with us in 2022. Let's enjoy a great year of hobby Let's see if we can get some of these piles of opportunity, we're calling them. See if we can get some of those piles of opportunity a little bit smaller than they were in 2021. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, like it. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>